Carbon fiber. You see it everywhere from exotic sports cars to fake versions and Toyota RAV4s and Corollas, and you even see it in like upscale bicycles and all that types of stuff. But why exactly is it such a premium material? You know, now that we're sitting in a 2020 Lexus RCF track edition and there's carbon fiber from head to toe, the question just kind of came to my mind, why exactly is this carbon material so expensive and so elusive? And that's the question that we're gonna be answering in today's video. And we're gonna be talking through all of the process of how carbon fiber is made and why exactly it costs so much freaking money. So the long and short of it is that producing carbon fiber remains a very expensive and intense process, even some 60 years after it was discovered. As it turns out, even at scale, there are certain aspects of the process that continue to require lots of energy and time. And as the idiom goes, time is money. But beyond time, the very beginning material is already quite expensive. Carbon fiber production starts out with a material called polyacrylonitrile, which is similar to a material used in clothing and carpets. According to research by the US Department of Energy, buying this material is going to cost around $3 per pound which seems reasonable until you realize that approximately half of this will be burned off during the manufacturing process, which essentially doubles the price per pound. It is estimated that carbon fiber would have to reach a cost of under $5 per pound for widespread use in mainstream cars. Yet with nothing else factored in, we are already well above that. As it turns out, the burning process called carbonization requires extreme heat, upwards of 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only does creating that amount of heat require tons of energy, but the byproduct is an environmentally toxic gas that needs to be treated. Both these things add lots of cost to the process. Now after this point, what we have are only carbon fiber strands, which like any fabric, have to be woven to actually make something out of it. By this point in the video, you shouldn't be surprised to find out that this part is also tricky, since all the strands have to be exactly parallel and stretched evenly. If even one of them is not, it'll cause other strands to break, which is why manufacturers usually use 10% more of the expensive carbon fiber strands than is technically necessary just to act as backup. Finally, this woven material is mixed with a plastic resin and shaped into the shape of the part. Like clay in a kiln, this also requires thermosetting, with significant heat and over a pretty significant amount of time. So what we're left at at the end of the day is a material that is 5 times as strong as steel and weighs 70% less, but it also costs between $10 and $15 per pound. That places it well beyond the threshold of mainstream automotive applications, at least for now, and is why you'll mostly see it in exotic cars like BMW's i-Line, Lamborghinis, and high-end Lexus products like this RCF Track Edition. Well guys, that's it for this quick video about the expense of carbon fiber. This is a new kind of video for us, so make sure you head down to the comment section and give us some feedback of what you thought of it. We'll see you next time and take care.